Hello and welcome back to another episode of Winemaking 101, the series where I try to answer the fundamental winemaking questions in under two minutes. One of the questions that come up all the time is what equipment do I need to make wine? So let's put two minutes on the timer and off we go. Winemaking at home is a hobby that can utilise pretty much no equipment at all if you don't want to spend a penny on it or very, very few pennies on it. I've made a video about how to make wine using only equipment you buy from your local supermarket for under three pounds. And I'll give you some tips on how to get the costing really low when you're starting out. Like any hobby, you don't want to invest a lot of money or time in it until you know the hobby suits you and you suit the hobby. But if you did want to go and spend a bit more money on the hobby, what are the essential pieces of equipment that you need that would really benefit your winemaking? There are only a few pieces of equipment which are really essential straight from the get-go. First up is a five gallon fermentation bucket. This is where you will be making your wine initially. You can buy them in either five gallons or ten gallons, but five gallons is the most readily available and most popular. In this bucket, you would mix up your ingredients, your sugar, and you'll add your yeast, and you would let it start fermenting. They are a really good investment. They are food grade. They will look after your wines in that initial stage. Get one with a lid with a hole drilled so you can put an airlock in. Second piece of equipment is a demijohn. This is where you transfer the liquid, your wine, after it's been in the five gallon fermentation bucket. Typically they hold a gallon, but there is usually a bit of variation in the measurements. It depends on how old they are. Charity shops, car boot sales are a haven for finding these things. Your wine will sit in the demijohn to finish its fermentation and also to mature for a while. So if you're able to afford it or you're able to find them, buy as many as you can. No one has ever said I have too many demijohns. The third thing you're going to be needing is some siphon tubing. This is really, really handy for transferring the liquid, your wine, from the fermentation bucket to the demijohn, and then in time from the demijohn to your wine bottles. You have to be able to fill up your wine bottles, otherwise you'll just be drinking from the demijohn with a big, big straw. And that's what this is, basically a big, big straw. There are all sorts of attachments that you can get to fit onto your siphon tubing from debris stoppers so you don't suck up too much of the sediment through to solid pipes which are great because they fit straight down into the demijohn without the pipe waving around too much and also flow stoppers these stop the flow of the liquid from going through the siphon tube easy you just click it and it stops the flow Really handy when you're filling your bottles and you have to stop the flow at regular points. Six bottles per gallon. You don't want to be losing liquid on the floor because you have no way of stopping the flow coming through. Next couple of items are a pair. You would normally buy these as a set online or from your home brew shop. You can buy them individually if you need, but generally it's a bit cheaper to buy them as a pair. And that is an airlock and a board bung. Airlocks, they allow the CO2 from the fermentation to escape the demijohn or the five gallon fermentation bucket and they act as a barrier to stop any nasties entering the liquid. The bad stuff goes out and more bad stuff can't go in. It keeps your wine safe. The final piece of equipment is what I think is the most important item, yet it's so often overlooked in starter packs of equipment for beginners. And that is a hydrometer. Hydrometers measure the sugar content of your wine. You would take a reading just before you add your yeast and it will tell you what the projected alcohol volume is going to be because yeast turns sugar into alcohol. Sugar depletes in the wine over time so you need to know what the starting level of your sugar is and then you take a reading at the end of the fermentation and it tells you how much sugar is left. Ideally, none. Your yeast has done its job, it's finished fermentation 
and there's no shudra left. And this gizmo, the hydrometer, will tell you all those things. It's handy to know two things. First of all, has fermentation stopped? Essential to know. Second thing, how strong is that wine? Not quite so important, whether it's 13%, 14%, 15%, 20%. If you've made a good wine, you've made a good wine, regardless of how strong it is. I will be doing a video on how to use a hydrometer later on in this series. Let me know down below in the comments what your essential winemaking pieces of equipment are. And also, why not check out another video all about tips and tricks of winemaking down by here. And I will see you all with the next episode. Have fun now.